So we're staying at a, a bed and breakfast way out in the countryside up here, just outside of Standardsville, Virginia. And oh, this is interesting. And uh, the lady who owns it, Miss Sarah, said that there was a path behind the house. It leads down to the river. And you know whenever she says path, I gotta take it. <laughs> so, uh, this morning is freezing weather and it's just above freezing because it's drizzling. But there's a forecast for snow and ice today. But while it's just a little bit drizzling, I'm going to see if I can make my way down to the river and when I get there I will show you. Okay, I've come down to the river. I'm surprised I didn't see a deer because there are plenty of tracks. Well, this is pretty. I imagine in the day there were plenty of people who settled alongside this river. The one on my family's farm who lived in this region <clears throat> of the Blue Ridge Mountains was not near this big. <laughs> it was about half this size and they would walk down to it to they, they, they bathed because this was back in the long time ago, 1930s, 1920s, 1930s, my grandparents and great-grandparents headed back up, and it's uphill all the way up to there, but um, yeah, they used to to go down to haul their water up for all of their uses, which they still did, I remember, when I was a child visiting, because they still lived in a log cabin, cooked on a wood stove, and hauled all their water up. And I remember taking baths in a big tub that Grandma would heat up water on the wood stove so that we could take baths, and we would, we would go visit for like a week or so at a time and it was amazing it was an amazing experience especially going to the outhouse in 10 degree weather yeah <laughs> ah, memories for a lifetime but yeah I'm glad I took this little walk this morning and I hope y'all enjoyed it. And there will be more to come. As we're visiting family up here in Virginia. By the way, as I'm walking through this wet grass, I'm so glad that I wore, decided to wear my Adidas waterproof shoes up here because they were calling for snow and ice. I decided to do that and I'm very glad because the grass was a little wet and thick going down there. So, good decision. Kitty. 
I remember <clears throat> as a child in my grandparents' house, a narrow set of steps leading up to the bedrooms. This reminds me very much of that. Drizzly day. at the old home place where my grandparents used to live here in the mountains of Virginia. It was purchased by someone and they gated it off so we are walking up. We had permission to walk up and check it out. They added on, or they tore wall, walls out. They tore walls out. They tore a wall out over here. Put a door in right there. Yep. And these stairs I remember well. these narrow steps to the bedroom upstairs. Mm. Oh yeah, they tore walls out up here too. There used to be two beds up here. Such a beautiful property. And Granddaddy would walk down to that stream down there on the other side of the tree to haul water up. Up there behind the house is some kind of little church looking thing. I have to ask, to ask someone about that. I don't know what that is for. But there's the creek down there. And they have enclosed the back of the house to where you can't see it anymore. But when we were coming up here, the whole house was held up by stacked rocks. No mortar in between, just stacked rocks. And I was hoping to show you that, but they have closed it in, so. I mean, at one point it was tall enough that I could uh, walk up under the house, but it was held up. That was the foundation, stacked rocks. There's the outhouse. And we used to go back up into these, on this mountain in these woods hunting. 
hunting squirrels, hunting turkeys. Yep. My grandparents' old place. Sad to see it's gone downhill so bad. Brings back lots of memories. Yeah. One last look. I never thought I'd be out here again. So pretty. We used to go up the side to that shed over there to go hunt hunting. Climb up that mountain. Okay. I'm glad I got to see it one more time. Heading back down the hill to the truck. But my heart is happy for seeing my grandparents' old home place again.